Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. I'm mad at myself. I'm really mad at Jamie. I mean, I'm just mad at the world right now, actually. So, I'm just leaving McCoy's and I had to buy some building materials, even though I already have some at home. And that one right there is the one to blame. Yes, yes, please help me out here. Get on to her, get on to her. Jamie? Yeah. Why am I at McCoy spending good hard earned money on building materials when I already have them at home? Well, because we need them. I already have them at home. You don't have all of them. We have some fencing that we're working on that we have to get done like today. Like today is the only day. Yeah, we have the shortest amount of time ever. And the ones that you do have have concrete on them. Have it's going to require quite a bit of work to get all the get them cleaned up and ready to be able to be reused And ain't nobody got time for that today. We'll use them for a later project, but it's not today's project We will talk more about the how and the who and the why behind it. So Anyway, I need your support here. I need your support No, no player haters <laughs> Alright, so we're going to hope that all of the nails and screws got picked up from this area when we took the fence down. We're going to go all the way across my pasture here and work on getting the fence up over there by Aunt Joanne's driveway first. The pasture's nice and dry, even though it's rained every day. We're so blessed for having good soil here. All right, hold on a second. All right, this is the section of fence we're gonna work on right now. Um, listen, guys, this is the hardest thing for me to do because all of my materials that I took down are in that trailer right there. But what we did not do when we took the fence down, we did not beat all the cement off the bottom of the post. We did not take all the screws and nails out of the boards. We did not even take all the corral panels, I'm sorry, the uh, cattle panels off. And so it would take literally hours to do all that and disassemble it all. We only have a very short window of no rain and Jamie and I have to leave for Illinois tomorrow. Now, I'm not worried about telling you guys that information because by the time you see the video, we'll be back. But uh, we don't want to leave our cows out of the barn during a weekend full of rain. And that's what's happened here. It's rained every day for the last two or three days. And they've had really no shelter at all besides a couple of pine trees and everything else. They don't have access to the barns whatsoever. And so we're going to go ahead and patch up this piece of fencing here. You already know it was taken down to help get Brianne's mobile home moved into place. All right, there's one piece of fencing that we're going to be good with for now. Next up, right over to here. So what we're going to do for today is go ahead and put this stretch of fencing right through here and we will enclose all of this. I don't have to close this pasture here up. Since we've put the fence over there, I can go ahead and let the cows all back up and then come on up into the barn and do all their normal, you know, stuff they do around the corral area, their fresh water trough and all that. And we can take that temporary gate down and then whenever the guys come back and forth, I'm coming babe, when the guys come back and forth through here, all they have to do is can open that gate right over there and they can get in and out. Friends, I was afraid of this. I was afraid of that. Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my heart like a melody. Falling on my heart like a new emotion. Y'all sing with me, come on. I wanna walk in the open wind. I want to talk like lovers do. Let me dive into your ocean. Is it raining with you? Oh, baby, talk to me. Boop, bop. Boop, bop. <laughs> I love this, dude. How do you dance to that song? Uh, I will say, 
That's a song that I've never danced to in my entire life. Oh, baby, walk with me. Walk, 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 like lovers do. I don't know if I've ever, ever told you this, but one of the things I admire the most about Jason over at Cog Hill is that he can dance to any music. Any music. Now, don't forget, he's had professional dance classes. I've learned from my mama. That's how Jason and I differ the most. He can dance to anything, and I can only dance like my mama taught me. So that's not really a fair comparison. It's not. It is not fair, Jason. So don't even, don't even think it is. This is sort of how we do this. Now, granted, I'm not gonna worry about cutting the tops off these posts today. We're just trying to get this fence back up so the cows can come to the barn. The rain has held off for a minute longer. We have two more sections to go. And, I, know, I can't wait till I open that gate and call the cows up. They're gonna be so excited. They are gonna be excited. They're gonna be so excited to get back to their barn. It's been too long in the making. We're moving along here pretty good. It's awesome to have great help. I will say that. I feel like we've come a long way in the fencing space. Yeah, we have come a long way in fencing. We, well, I mean, literally 15 <laughs> acres of fencing is how far we've come. And that's a lot of holes to be dug, a lot of leveling. Now, granted, this over here is not our fault. This is the fault of Carl. This leaning fence would be because of Carl. He well, pushed that fence text. over. And that Tex. Tex and Carl pushed that fence over. Not Jamie or myself. <laughs> we built them straight, Jamie. We can't, can't keep them straight. Why is this not starting? Just go, babe. It's not you got to push the clutch in, sweetie. Why is this not starting? The clutch, baby. Well, we know who needs more tractor work around here. However, she might be a little lacking in her tractor skills, but she can certainly help build a fence. And so we're real happy with this. Let me back up a little bit and show you. I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you. Now listen, we did not put the panels on there yet. As of right now, just for cows, we don't need them. We have the panels, we just have to, uh, get them off the trailer and pull all the staples out and you know all the work we did not do when we took the fence down but uh, I'm not gonna cut the tops off these posts yet I'll come back and do that hey sweet girl hi sweet lovely I will come back and do that but hey right now you guys join me let's let the cows up I know they're gonna be excited hey I'm coming to open your gate y'all can walk through again oh sheesh hey babe Will you close the main gate? The ma main barn gate to the pasture. Okay. All right, so here comes the cows. They're gonna be so excited to be back up around the barn area. It's been, sheesh, what, been two weeks, y'all? Two weeks of all of this riffraff. Hey, guess what? I didn't wanna get my feet muddy. I'm not wearing my Crocs, darn it. <laughs> That was a joke. That was a joke. Y'all want to come up? You guys want to come up? Oh, Lord, Lester Morrow. This is not pretty, my friends. This is not pretty. I'm going to leave that gate there just for now because it could be very likely with the guys uh, who are still in the back doing all their land clearing. We may at some point have to take a gate down or a fence down temporarily just to get their tractor out. It may not fit down my driveway, but uh, we will see about that. Anyway, hey, you wanna come up or not? Come on, follow daddy. I can get these water troughs out of here. I can bring their food buckets back up. Oh, their feed troughs. Come on, Waylon, come with daddy, come visit. I want them to see this pasture and all the grass that's growing out here. They're gonna love that. They are, they're gonna love that. Now, Cornholio is not gonna like it. Cornholio is not gonna be happy. Because, like I said, he's always felt like he and his family deserve their very own pasture. 
And unfortunately, Corny, this is too much pasture for a bunch of turkeys. For a bunch of turkey. All right, my friends. Thank y'all for joining Jamie and I as we do a little rebuild. Like I said, I wasn't going to do this yet because we have all those materials sitting right there. All those great materials sitting right there on that trailer, which are, which are still good. This fence is not, well, Hurricane Harvey, four or five, about five years old. And so the posts are still good. Uh, of course, the panels, the cattle panels will never go bad. But uh, hey, it is what it is. We're blessed to be able to get the cows back up, get them back into the barn if they want to be. The only one who's hurting right now, the only one who's mad, would be that one right over there. We have a problem. It's with Jolene. Jolene refuses to come into the front pasture until I cut the tops off of those posts. She ain't gonna be seen with no sloppy fencing, y'all. She refuses to be seen anywhere around sloppy ass fencing. That's, those are her words, not mine. And as hard as Jamie and I work to get this fence back up, she will not step foot. Such a diva. She's such a diva type, I swear. She still won't come. She goes, don't half-ass it, Daddy. Don't half-ass it. Because what I did was cut those tops off these posts where it's all nice and pretty, but she goes, you forgot them over there. Jolene, I'm tired. I'm going, Jolene. I'm going as fast as my old legs can carry me, okay? Sheesh. That's the problem right over there. We left some tops on those posts, and she don't like that at all. Y'all, he does not like this one bit, and he is letting us know his displeasure. Oh, he got the shake thing going. He's trying to let his family know that he will stand up and defend them. And he ain't sharing no pasture with a bunch of bovine. He's too good for that because he is the great Cornholio. Look who's inspecting our new fencing. <laughs> our two peafowl are inspecting the new fencing. And they're not sure how they feel about this either. They really enjoyed having that nice big, that grand opening into other pastures. Now they feel like they're a little bit confined. Yeah, this over here is a little bit too, too. It's not enough, y'all. This is not enough for everybody. Some folks feel a little bit too entitled. Uh-huh. A little bit too entitled to be confined to a small half-acre pasture. No, they need, they need more. They just always want more. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.